Welcome to iGEL Tech Channel. My name is Christian Drieling, I'm Senior Systems Engineer at iGEL Technology and in this video I want to show you how to manage profiles with our Universal Management Suite. What are we going to see in this video? First I will show you how to create profiles and what you have to know about creating profiles and in the second step I will show you how to assign the profiles to the structure we already created and what effect it will have to the thin clients. In the last videos we have set up our universal management server and also with the thin client. We have built up a structure in our environment and now we want to start to configure the first devices and structure elements in our universal management suite. So starting is really easy. We can just right click profiles and create a new profile. And here is the first and really important thing about how we want to work with profiles. Normally in the most cases, new customers are starting creating one profile with all the settings, language settings, background image, Citrix session, all this stuff in one profile. This will work, but in a later step, if we are doing troubleshooting and want to configure several things different for different departments, for example, it's difficult with so huge profiles. So the way Igel prefers is to create a profile per setting. That means you will have a lot more profiles, but you will have a toolbox for all your different locations and departments, and then you can just drag and drop everything together. So. The first information we have to give is a profile name and in this case then it's really easy. I can just say, okay, I want to create a profile for the language, for example. What I do regularly is uh, the first thing I give the information about the operating system the profile is designed for, so LX in this case for Linux devices. And then I give an short information about what I am doing in this profile. So uh, in this case language and I'm doing it on DE German. If you're doing it on this way, uh, in the most cases you will not need a description because the profile name will give you all information you need. You see it's a Linux profile for language settings on German. But sometimes you have uh, different profiles for Citrix sessions, different special settings, stuff like this, and then it can be helpful to fill out the description to remember what you did six months before. In this case, I will leave this empty. The next field we have here is iterating settings from another thin client or another profile or something like this. That's the opposite way that we want to do. We have implemented this feature for a special customer. Here you see that we implement a lot of things for customers, for all the customers, they will benefit from it. Uh, but in this case, it means that you just have to ignore it actively. Don't use the function uh, if you don't have a use for iterating settings. The next field is more important. Here we can choose for which firmware the profile is created. In my case, I have to choose the Universal Desktop OS, not the Windows agent. And it's important to ch select the correct firmware version so it's in Linux or in Windows. Um, the version number is not as important, so the most pri pri profile settings are compatible with down and up firmwares, um, but the operating system type is important because the settings for Linux systems are not working properly on Windows systems and things like this. Then we have a button here for activating no settings or activating all settings. This is also something we have implemented for a special customer. And if you set the button to activate all settings, it will cause that all settings, all default values will be activated in the profile. That can cause trouble. Um, for example, if there are settings that need more configuration, um, it's not the best idea to, to activate this. Also, um, if you use this function, you should be sure that the version number is matching to the version number of the firmware of the client. So in the most cases you don't need this, don't activate it if you don't have a need for this. Overwriting settings is more interesting. If you create, for example, a Citrix session, uh, 
and you name it ICA session. And then you create a second profile with a session also called ICA session. In the normal cases, if you assign booth profiles to the thin client, you will have two icons on the desktop called ICA session. If you select Overwrite Sessions, sessions with the same name will be overwritten in the newest or nearer configured uh, profile to the thin client, will overwrite the other setting and the customer only has one icon on the desktop called ICA Session. So if we say OK, our setup will open. It's the same setup we have also on our local clients. We have a really cool search function I want to show you. If I'm searching for language settings, I can just say, okay, lang, which, and then it will give me some entries. And if I double click it, it will show me here where to set the language. And if I'm going back to configuration, it jumped already into the correct tab. So I want to create a German profile. And you see here we have orange triangles, that means that this setting will not affect the thin client at the moment. If I want to affect it to the thin client, I have to switch it to blue. Now I can select the language. I also will do it for the keyboard layout. And if I save this now, these settings will be sent to the thin client if I assign it to it. If I switch it back, you see here Deutsch German is selected but this setting will not be sent to the thin client because it's orange here. So don't switch it back if you want to do changes to the thin client. So I will save this profile and now I will assign it to my folder Germany. If we now take a look to the folder Germany on the right side, we see assigned objects LX language DE. We can take a look to the profile clicking on the pencil here. You see it's blue lined where we have changes. And if I go here, we see, okay, the language is set to German, the keyboard layout is set to German. If I go down a step more, for example, to Augsburg, you see it's left here, and it's moved to the indirect assigned objects. You see here, Alex language is coming from the directory Germany and will affect also this folder and the folders that are sub to the Augsburg folder and also all the clients in Germany in the subfolders will be affected by this profile. If you want to find the profile, you can just click on this button here and then it will jump to the profile and you see, okay, this are the information about the profile and you can double click it, for example, and then the setup will open and all this stuff. So creating the second profile is much faster. So I will go here and say, okay, LX language, Ian, selecting the correct operating system, say, okay. Um, setting the language to English is not necessary because you see it's a default value, but it could be that we want to use it on a level here um, where we already assigned an object or if we maybe want to do some default settings on Agile technology for all these, maybe on French or something like this, then it's also necessary to set it back on UK to English. So I will just do it on blue, save it, and assign this profile to UK. The next profile I want to configure is for the background image. So I will create a profile, LX background, black, for example, based on Linux. And now I go to user interface, desktop, background, and say, okay, I want to have the black background 423. Save it. I will assign this to my headquarter in Bremen. The next profile I want to configure is also for the background image. So I will create a profile called background red. In this case, I will assign it to Linux operating systems. Going to user interface, desktop, background, switching it to Agile red, save. And this I will assign to Augsburg. Um, if we now want to assign 
the stuff to a thin client, we could assign profiles also directly to the thin client, but we prepared a structure here with assigned profiles. So I can just drag and drop my client, for example, to Bremen into pre-sales. He's asking me, when should the changes take effect? In my case, now I will say, please do it now. Then the changes will be sent immediately to the thin client. There will be a pop-up. If you're in a productive environment, you, in the most cases, want to choose next reboot, then nothing is transferred to the thin client immediately. On the next boot of the client, he will ask the server for new configuration, and then everything is assigned to the client, thin client without interrupting users at their work. If I now go back to my thin client, just a second, there will appear and information about a new profile. Here you see, it tells us that the system settings are changed and if we want to assign them now, I say OK. And now the configuration file is transferred to the thin client. He's checking it and doing the changes to the operating system um, immediately. This you could also do on the next reboot. And then during the boot, the profile is assigned, the configuration is transferred, and the settings will be done during the boot to the device. So now you see the changes are done. We have the black background image, we have a German language here. And if I did a mistake, for example, or I want to move the thin client to another department, I can just go here, drag and drop it, for example, to the dev team in Augsburg, say now, and go back to the thin client. Now you see, there's a pop-up again, say OK. Now he switched the background image uh, to the other color, and the changes are all done. So now you got an information how to create profiles and assign them to the structure or a thin client. If you have any questions, feel free to write us a mail or take a look to our edocs. Thanks for your attention and have a nice day.